Okay, let's start. Are we live? Okay. Uh, this is the start of the personnel committee. Um, we'll bring this to order here and we'll do a roll call. Um, each member wants to just. Alder Dorf is here. Alder Dorf is next. Alder uh, Kathy Lafayette here. And Alder Galvin is also present. Alder President accounted for. Next. Uh, of the agenda. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion to approve and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That passes unanimously. And looking for approval of the minutes from our last meeting on November 27th. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion to approve and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And that passes unanimously. On to regular business. Item D. Are we good to go? Uh, number one, consideration with possible action on a request to fill the following replacement positions and all subsequent vacancies resulting from internal transfers. A, legal assistant in the law department. B, public works superintendent parking for public works. C, parking maintenance technician for public works. And D, human resources generalist and human resources staff. So you do have the request to fill in your packet. If you have any questions on uh, specific uh, positions, we can answer those. Otherwise. Does anyone have any questions? Questions? No. I think that, yeah, we should uh, fulfill the uh, positions. All right. I'd like to make a motion that we, should we take them all together? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, that we uh, fulfill the legal, uh, oh, well, A, B, and C, D positions that are so stated. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 That passes unanimously. <coughs> Number two, consideration with possible action on a request by Alder Johnson to eliminate the requirement for prior authorization for budgeted or cost-neutral out-of-state travel staff. So there's a memo attached in your packet. I'll just run through it real quickly. So Alder President Johnson wants to look at our travel policy. So our current policy is also attached as well. For in-state travel that's approved by our department head, that includes uh, Chicago and Minneapolis. For out-of-state travel, it can be approved either through the budget process, so if the department knows about upcoming out-of-state travel, that can be approved during the budget. Um, if during the year out-of-state travel comes up, then the um, department needs to go to the personnel committee, the common council to approve it. Um, if, it's, there's an, um, if there can't be approval before uh, travel occurs, there can be emergency authorization that gets approved by the mayor, personnel committee chair, and then the president of the common council. So those are our options right now. And then all of the cost neutral um, travel is still needs to be approved as well. So we did some research for um, other uh, municipalities. What they have is they have um, variant approvals. Um, they could have either the mayor, city manager, personnel committee, county council, or department has that approve it. And for all the cost neutral travel, they do require authorization as well. And I just want to highlight with Fond du Lac, they have that the department head does approve ISA travel. But for higher expenses, the city manager will approve it. I'm not sure what that is, if it's $500, 1000 whatever that is. I'm not sure what it is. Same thing we're seeing. Um, there's certain out-of-state travel that's approved by the mayor or the administrative manager. I'm not sure what the, the requirements are. So that's my answer. All right, thank you. Um, Alder Johnson. Yeah, I, I just kind of brought this forward because I've noticed, you know, in a number of meetings, we've been approving these out-of-state travel requests and I kind of asked the question of staff I guess why we had that policy in place as opposed to trusting our department heads with making that decision I mean we allow them to make decisions for acquisitions of up to twenty five thousand dollars and then yet we put it in front of the committee in front of council to make a decision about traveling to Texas to pick up a piece of equipment that didn't cost us anything and so that was just a little bit puzzling to me I mean just because you can tell someone when to go to the bathroom doesn't mean you ought to so I, I think it's one of those things where I think we ought to trust our staff uh, to do their job that we hire them for you hold them accountable for it if this is something that we budgeted for um, I just question why we need to uh, to have that level of bureaucracy and oversight I mean you can buy a plane ticket to LA probably for cheaper than what it is to drive to lacrosse with mileage expense so uh, just asking the committee to maybe Reevaluate the, necess uh, the necessity to have that level of bureaucracy over something that, to me, should be handled by management. Thank you. What is staff um, and staff's recommendation? 
Well, I think it would be more efficient if we didn't have mm -hmm. approval. I mean, there's no doubt. Yeah. Um, so I, I think we haven't had too many issues at this time, but sometimes you need emergency authorization. It is a little kind of hectic to try and get that authorization. So we would, I think, we would like to have, to not have the approval through the Common Council. Um, I don't think there's been too many issues right now, but it would be more efficient if we just had department heads make the decision and then hold them accountable for their budget. Budget. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just so it's reported somewhere. Are there any interested parties that would like to say something on this or ask any questions? All right. Thank you. I'd entertain a motion. I would. Oh, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. <laughs> I would move. Wait a minute. Um, I would move that we would eliminate the requirement for prior authorization for budget or cost neutral out of state travel and leave it up to the department. Okay. I would second that. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any opposed? Okay, that passes unanimously. And then I think what we'll do then is the HR department will draft the policy and then have that go through personnel and have you guys approve it. And then sure. the council. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you very okay. much. Item number three. Consideration with possible action on the request to approve the following wage agreements with a 2% general salary increase effective uh, in which October 1st of the respective years occurs. Parks and Forestry. Labor Association 2018, Parks and Forestry Labor Association 2019, Public Works Labor Association 2018, Public Works Labor Association 2019, Public Works Labor Association Electrical Division 2018. Staff. So you can take all these together if you choose to. So in the city we have labor associations in our Parks and Forestry Department, our Public Works, and then for the laborers, and then we also have the Electrical Division that we have Labor Association with. Since there's limited bargain, bargaining rights for those labor associations, we do bargain the wage. What these contracts go over is that the 2% increase for those employees for 2018 and 2019. Typically what we would do is we enter into an agreement at the end of the year, like 2018, November, December, that kind of recorded the contract that they got a 2% increase that uh, council approved for general uh, municipal employees. What we've done this year is we've decided since that uh, Common Council has approved 2% increase this upcoming October, just get the 2019 contract out of the way as soon as we can. So that's why you have 2018 and 2019. Right. Mm -hmm. Any questions for staff? I don't have any problem with this as it was not a neutral agreement. Okay. Any uh, comments, concerns, or questions from anybody else in the public? All right, thank you. All right, I'd entertain a motion then. I'll make a motion that we accept the uh, labor contract um, as so stated. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 And that passes unanimously. Update and discussion on the bus operator and labor negotiations. Staff. So I'll just ask that we go in and close the right. um, Move to go into closed session, um, and I'll read the statement. I think I did a second. 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 Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, that passes. The committee may convene in closed session pursuant to 19851E, Wisconsin statutes, for the purpose of deliberating or negotiating public employee contracts mm -hmm. for competitive or bargaining reasons. The committee may thereafter reconvene in open session pursuant to section 1982-2, Wisconsin statute, to report the results of the closed session and consider the balance of the agenda. All right. Um, so we're in closed session. We'll notify you as soon as we're out, and uh, we just ask you to be patient and step outside. We got a hacky in the room. 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 We got Bus Operator Labor Negotiations. I'll entertain a motion reference that. So I make a motion to proceed as directed in closed session for staff to proceed as directed in closed session. And I second. And we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That passes unanimously.
Okay, under section E for informational, number one, recruitment initiator for park facility supervisor, food and beverage, that was approved as part of the 2019 budget. Staff? So you do have me back at the information on that. That position was approved in the 2019 budget, so we're just giving you the informational um, uh, report that we'll be starting recruiting for that, and we're hoping to hire, I think, around March 1st, as uh, determined by the budget. All right. I think we can just receive that in place on file. Yep. Move we'll to receive in place on file. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, report of routine personal actions for regular employees. Did anyone have any questions for staff on that? No. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion that we approve uh, oh. or receive in place on file. I'm sorry. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Passes unanimously. And number three, our next meeting date is January 29th, 2019. And I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned.